Hi guys, I wanted to uh, go ahead and show you how I refactored this controller. Um, refactoring is a process of taking code that already works, um, but cleaning it up so that it's more readable, readable and easier to understand. Um, we do this all the time so that um, when we finish a project and something, or a part of a project and something's going really well, um, but we want to make sure that the uh, the code kind of reflects the fact that um, we kind of better understand the system now. This would be the time to refactor and clean it up. So my goals here are, um, we haven't really talked about instance variables yet, so I'm going to stop using them. Um, and then also, I've got like a lot of like if statements and kind of weird stuff in weird places. So I'm going to go ahead and try to clean that up. So the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to show you guys the, the two where we left off. So this is a me controller. Remember, this sends a text message and does stuff. Um, and then this is the uh, show at HTML to ERB. So the first thing I want to do is, I want to move all this kind of like, these what I would call guard statements to check against the session being empty into one place. So um, I'm going to do make sure that um, so if session messages is blank, then I'm going to go ahead and set session messages to an empty array. So this makes sure that I always have a in the session, I always have a, something called um, messages, and it's going to be an empty array. I'm going to do the same thing with message count. So if message count is blank, I'm going to assign that to zero. Now, as you can see, that what I can do is I can always refer to messages and messages count through the session, and this kind of just cleans up the interface. So that means that further down here, this I would kind of leave all the same. This is all fine. Um, I'm just going to remove that comment since we're not really using it. Um, this put statement with the blue, um, not as worried about that now because we're actually sending a message. Um, the thing that I think we would notice is that down here, um, we don't need this initialization code anymore to uh, set this to one. So what we'll say instead is we don't have to worry about checking for its presence because we're always setting it. So it's essentially if the message is present, so if that's the that's the that's the value that was submitted by the form. If the message is present, then we're going to take the session message count and we're going to increment it by one. So session session message count equals session message count plus one, and the same thing for the um, the message is, uh, but it's not necessary to refer to it through these at variables. I can actually just refer to it directly in the hash. So um, I'll go ahead and use the shovel operator here because um, it's kind of cool. This is exactly the same thing as um, so these lines are equivalent. Just use one or the other. Okay, and then the last thing is um, I want to get rid of these instance variables. Uh, we haven't really um, introduce them yet and um, it's actually not even really necessary in here so I'll go ahead and get rid of these instance variables and now you see I now I have a lot less code and it's a lot more clear kind of what's going on so on my way in I say hey is there any are there any um, is the message variable set in is the messages key set in session is the message count key set in session if they're not then set them to reasonable defaults I'm gonna leave the by bug commented out but here just so that I can easily uncomment it later on if I want to experiment and then Here's my kind of core logic where I actually send the message to Twilio. And then um, these keys would be your keys. My actually, I actually already discontinued mine, so um, don't, don't copy these. Put your own keys from Twilio if you want to do that. Um, here's the from number. Um, and then I, here is where I kind of keep track of state in the session. So I say um, increment the messages count here and then also um, shovel the params messages message into messages. So this is the value of the message I just sent. And I'm going to put that into messages. So now it goes from being, if I just started, it goes from being an empty array to being one with a single message in it. Back in the view, all I need to do is stop using the um, the instance variables. So um, at message is, going to, is just going to go to params uh, message. Um, and then message count is going to go to um, session of message count. And um, the same thing for messages here. So this is a session of messages. Okay, um, and the other thing I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to comment this um, this select out. This is uh, not really that useful. So either comment it or um, delete it. So what we've got here, we're going to have this little um, this little this little uh, flash at the top here that says, "Oh, if we had a me if if the message params is set, then um, that's because we just sent a message." And then we have this little form um, we can fill out, and then we're, we're pulling stuff out of session to display how many messages were just sent, and also the um, the uh, the most recent messages in your from your session. So that's that little refactor. Um, hopefully that's not too confusing. 
and um, hit me on Slack if you have any questions. But um, the goal here, again, is just to kind of clean this code up a little so that it's um, a little bit more normal in form. Um, 